all night out. Okay. Good evening. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, call the meeting to order tonight. Uh, this is the uh, revised agenda of City Council adjourned regular meeting Monday, July 30th at 6 p.m. Uh, roll call, please. Mayor Edgar? Here. Mayor Pro Tem Kusumoto? Here. Council Member Turco? Here. Council Member Hasselbrink? Here. Council Member Murphy? Here. Alrighty. Uh, at this time, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up to uh, oral communication. If any individual in the audience wants to speak on any item uh, within our subject matter jurisdiction, yeah, but your remarks are to be limited no more than five minutes per speaker. Um, anybody interested in speaking? Cool. Yeah, come on up, John. Okay. Well, let me, Mayor and members of Council. I'm John Underwood. Um, I guess, representing Los Alamitos Television tonight, uh, uh, I am compelled to come forward and announce that we, despite the uh, uh, very compelling programming that we've had on these last few months um, regarding uh, the uh, redistricting plan, um, LATV, I'm here to say, has some new programming and I want to bring it to the attention of the council members, staff, and, uh, and the public at large. Uh, we have at least three, may four, five new programs on LA TV. Um, we, of course, covered as much of the 4th of July event as we po possibly could get to this year. I personally was in suburbia, but there were other producers fanning out around the town. So we have some of that programming on the air. We're putting it all together into a, mu a larger piece of programming that we're going to present as our 4th of July special. So um, please look forward to that. That was. W wonderful experience for me to be able to go to these communities and participate in what really Los Alamitos is about, and that's community. Um, other programmings on Los Al TV uh, coming uh, on board this week are uh, two Shakespeare in the Park events, uh, Shakespeare's uh, The Winter's Tale uh, and a, a uh, Merry Wives of Windsor are both being presented on Los Al TV. Uh, they were filmed two weeks ago at Rush Park in Rossmore. It's just a wonderful event that we do every year with the participation of the RHA, the Rossmore Homeowners Association, and the RCSD, Rossmore Community Services District. So we're you know, happy to be able to participate with them in events like that and collaborate. Um, this is part of what LATV is all about, is the larger community that we serve. Uh, there are other programs on. We went down to Seal Beach. We're, we're doing exchanges with Seal Beach. Uh, a very beloved band, the Emperors, played down at the pier. Fresh uh, Emperors on LA TV this week. So um, also, Serve La Salle Day is now running, uh, which for my part was an interesting day of service of over 200 volunteers around the city uh, participating in a one-day special day event, first annual, They'll be out there next year. We'll be out there covering it as well, of volunteers around the town participating in events that bring us all together as a community. So we're happy to bring that forward on Los Alamitos television as, as well. So I just wanted to bring that to the attention of you folks on the council and also <laughs> to our wider community to uh, look forward to new programming on Los Al TV and to look into the news enterprise to see the schedule for that programming in this Wednesday's edition. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you, John. Any other comments? Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, close uh, oral communication and we'll move on to the consent calendar. Um, does anybody want to, uh, I guess at this point, we'll probably pull uh, item B, 4B. Uh, anybody want to move uh, item A? I'll move. Okay, second. Uh, second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, so uh, consent calendar item 4B, adopt the ordinance establishing district-based election system. Um, city manager, uh, can we get a staff report or city clerk? Uh, city clerk, Wendy Quintinar, give the staff report. One moment, please. Um, so as council is aware, we have been going through the districting process as required by the California Voting Rights Act. Uh, we had our fifth public hearing at the July 16th meeting. Uh, this will be the adoption of the ordinance. Um, 
uh, establishing the green map as the council's preferred map and allowing um, signifying the proposed district sequencing. Um, this is the final step in the process and the uh, ordinance is up for adoption by council now. Okay. Available for any questions if you have them. Good deal, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and bring it back to the council. I'd like to open it up to the council to see if anybody has any comments or questions. No. No. Okay. Um, so what we'll do at this point is uh, we'll go ahead and uh, go for the uh, vote on this item. I guess, can I have a motion? So moved. Oh, second. Uh, so we got a motion and a second. So all in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, no, and that'll be me, no. So that'll uh, conclude the open session. Uh, then we're gonna go into closed session. Can we go ahead and uh, city attorney, if you could read us into closed session. Yes, the city council will now adjourn into closed session to discuss item 5A as appearing on your agenda. All righty, so we're gonna go ahead and go into closed session, thank you.